gotta be the man! You gotta beat the man! This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes! Where is he? Cactus Jack! Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels Podcast. My name is Jacob Best in the Realm Hotter. My name is Jeremy the Coach Brooks. I'm Host still Brooks. here. I'm Brian Brightman Peacock. Don't freak out. I'm just sitting in another seat this time. Like they know. <laughs> well, I wasn't. Brian sick, usually so I before need to let me. Them know. I real quick, you know, they're like, "Oh, Brian's not on this one." Next. You know that's what's gonna happen. Oh God. Because I came here to listen to me bitch about pro wrestling. He does this occasionally, where he just goes off on a tangent on fucking nothing. (laughs) Usually it's when it's sleep deprivation, though. (laughs) We got, like, an hour of sleep. This should be a good one. (laughs) And we've done, we've been out all day. Yep. All day. Well, we got some stuff for you to get heated about. I'm probably not going to get heated, but let's try it. Okay. So, did Only you guys... Do this one leftovers. What about leftovers? Let's, uh, heat them up. Let's oh, this. I'm going to get Taco Bell. What's going on? What's going on? You want to get Taco Bell? Hell, I can't eat snuff right now, but we go off right now. I'll drop you off and get Taco Bell. Right. What's going to piss me off? Let's go. I don't even know. Piss wrestling, me off. wrestling pisses me the fuck off. All right, <laughs> so this is, we're doing the wrestling podcast. Did you guys see... I'm taking over. Did go you ahead. Guys I don't see? mind. Um, the New Day. New Day? What about And uh, Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. Oh, I did see that, yeah. Yeah, was that funny. I missed this. Uh, was it Jimmy Fallon? Yeah, they was doing some kind of like rap battle or something. Lip sync battle. Oh, man. I don't know, I don't know the song that New Day did. I don't know. But Triple H actually was the best one. Yeah. But then Stephanie McMahon and Triple H had to do, uh, the song from Moana. They had to lip sync it. Oh, wow. And Stephanie McMahon started it, and, like, she pulled Triple H over and handed him the microphone, and he fucking killed it. Murdered. Like, really? Like Triple Murdered. H would, yeah. Murdered. He went cerebral I got to see this. On, and that's why I'm kind of excited when he take over WWE. The Moana song. It's going to be badass when he take over. Oh, oh yeah. It's so It's going to be badass. Him doing that just make people want to watch it again. I didn't think it was going to be good, but I was like, oh, fuck. I didn't even know that happened until, was, you know, I saw it on Facebook. Was this on the Jimmy Fallon show, or was it on the Lip Sync Battle show? It was on Jimmy Fallon. Okay. I think, yeah, I don't know, I didn't know we had two shows. It was no, I don't know if it's Jimmy Fallon show, but there is a Lip Sync Battle show. It, it is, my mom saw it the other day, but they wasn't on that. It was like okay. on Jimmy Fallon doing Lip Sync. That's crazy. It was crazy, it was bad. i watch that later. It was worth it. Any other wrestling news? Brian, you posted something on our Facebook the other day. I did. I think we we talked about that. The four the the four new people. Yeah. Well, it's official now. Hmm. It wasn't official when we talked about it. Well, yeah, but it's those four people. It's. But uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about. <laughs> Fuck it, not my show anymore. Go ahead. <laughs> the other thing I want to talk about. Is He's walking now. Where are you going? I'm, up. I'm doing things. Oh, they can't boy. hear you if you walk over there. What are you doing? What the hell? Talk about the four people. Where are you going? Talking about the four people. The four horsemen or the four people? They should be the new four horsemen. <gasps> oh, yeah. Where are you going? Who? <laughs> who, who should be the four horsemen? Uh, so, it's official now. You should know this because we posted it on our Facebook. I did. I ain't paying attention to it. Oh, I just taught, last night, taught Brooks how to post on our Facebook. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Good. I couldn't do it for the longest. <laughs> Good. So now we'll have more stuff posted on there. Yeah, go, yeah, you get more material. So, uh, one thing that we knew for a while was going to happen, Candice LeRae is officially in NXT now. Oh, okay. Which I am so fucking hyped for. I love Candice LeRae. hmm And I can't wait to uh, hopefully talk to Joey Ryan at that show. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully See we're who, going. Uh, <laughs> who he just was in the ring with? Joey Ryan? Mm-hmm. Not particularly, no. Yeah. Mia Khalifa? You know that? <laughs> Why? What kind of ring it was in? <laughs> oh, buddy. I don't know. I oh, seriously? 
No, you know I am a Mia Khalifa fan know. now because she was on Kind of Funny and she we killed it. That's all right. You don't you don't have to tell us that. Yeah, a lot of people. Are fans she is a lot more than a porn star, guys. No, she's <laughs> not. I don't. Care. She is entertaining as hell. That's what she's supposed to do. I'm entertaining. <laughs> Let me stick my man in your coffer. <laughs> oh, Jesus. We need to get back on track quick. Yeah, we do. Um, no, that's kind of interesting. What were they doing, though? Was she just promoting something? I don't know. I didn't watch any. No, I'm going to Okay. <laughs> so Candice LeRae is officially in NXT. War Machine is officially in NXT. That's fucking Fuck. nuts. Yes. That's crazy. Shout out to the Swamp Vikings. And I hope they stay on NXT because they'll get murdered on the main roster. I hope they remain War Machine. They should. I mean, they they haven't really been changing people very much. They'll just race. send them up to the main roster, smack some red and black paint on them, and let them go to the ring. <laughs> I saw I saw this thing. It was it said something. It was it had a, that picture and the picture underneath was Vince McMahon. It said something like, "Put Candice LeRae in a feud with Carmella and have her lose to somebody." And then it said, uh, put that ricochet kid in that Mighty Mouse, right, Mighty oh Mouse costume and have him lose to Enzo. And then put, uh, put those two big guys on Raw as the Raw's answer to the Bludgeon Brothers. Yeah, that actually fits. That sadly fits. That's Jesus. Happen. I hope not. <laughs> Because the other one that got signed, like you just mentioned, was the best wrestler in the world, Ricochet. Strongly believe he is the best wrestler in the world. What I know if, Vader will disagree with me. <laughs> what if, what if he comes out and it's not Ricochet? What if it's Prince Puma? I wouldn't hate that. It's, it's, it's still the same like, guy. That would be, like, would that not be, like, sort of mind-blowing, though? That'd be pretty cool. I mean, no one would expect it. No. Puma. What if it was like Prince Panther? Because <laughs> it right would be Prince Puma. <laughs> it's possible. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I hope they just give him the Ricochet moniker. They probably will. Yeah. Then they'll destroy it. Then yeah, then they'll wreck it. They haven't destroyed Johnny Gargano. Oh, they will. They done fucked up because he beat Aleister Black. Who beat Aleister Black? Johnny Fuckface Gargano. Oh, d- oh, yeah, he deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was more on one, so it doesn't count, but... Oh, you're talking about the Fatal 4-Way match. Yeah. Oh, did Alistair get pinned? I don't know. I don't think it counts. I don't... Do you think Oscar I... lost the women's Battle Royal, I think? Right. She's still undefeated. Yeah. I need to go back and watch some more NXT. I was thinking about that today. I think I might do it tomorrow. I haven't had time Yeah. To... Yeah, we definitely got to figure out some time. Um, the only thing I really watched that was outside of the realm of WWE or their normal stuff is I did watch uh, Ohio versus Everything donate donate debut in TNA, and then Sam- Sammy Callahan joined them. Mm-hmm. That looks like a pretty cool faction. Yeah, which is the Irish Airborne, right? Is it? Yes. Okay. Is that am I saying the tag team right though? Irish Airborne. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, I saw them, like, way, like, a long, long time ago. Yeah, now they're doing, like, a kind of creepy, crazy gimmick. Yeah, the Irish Airborne, a.k.a. Ohio is for killers. <laughs> Jesus. Dave Chris and Jake Christ. Yeah, okay, cool. And, uh, yeah, they're teamed up with, uh, Sammy Callahan now. Who is amazing. Yes. So, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll go watch that match. I guess a lot of people didn't like it. Yeah, the Twitch match. The one yeah. that was too crazy for TV. Yeah. Um, because it's Ohio versus everything versus, I want to say, say it, uh, not sanity. Decay? Decay, yeah. Um, let's see, OVE versus, oh no, it was LAX. Oh, that's right. And Eli Drake. Oh, yeah, LAX is badass. I like them, but like when they first showed up. They were one of the best parts of TNA. Homicide, uh, Hernandez, yes. and the other guy. Well, there's, there's been a rotating cast of people in it. Probably. Um, but they, they, they were the originals. 
Speaking of TNA, though, did you see the big news about uh, their new champion, Austin Aries, versus... So it's the Impact champion, Austin yeah. Aries, versus the WWE UK champion, Pete Dunne. Where is this match happening? Uh, Destiny World Wrestling? Austin Aries back in TNA. Yeah. Impact. And he already champion? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's the greatest man alive. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that was his gimmick for a while. Um, actually, apparently, the guy named Matt is the greatest man alive. I don't know. guy named Matt? Yeah, hey, watch. He'll be back in WWE. Matt Marshall. Wow. The, the bottom part of this uh, article about the Aries versus Pete Dunne match uh, is uh, the lip sync thing. <laughs> so, oh. I had to pull it up. I just didn't read it. But yeah, that's exciting as hell. The TNA guy is facing a WWE guy with their belts. Like, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, it'd be nice if they had it a neutral site. It is. Destiny World Wrestling. Oh, that, okay. I, I thought that sounded like something TNA would make up for a paper. Yeah, yeah, at first I was like, that's not a TNA paper. <laughs> like, you're right. <laughs> that, that, that sounds like something TNA. Destination is. pain. Some dumb shit like that. That does sound like a TNA thing. Fair enough. But, uh, yeah, I think the more stuff like this gets to happen, the more WWE lets their product... Because they have with the UK Championship. And I think Finn Balor has shown up at Irish uh, wrestling promotions. Like, I think ICW was the big one over there. Mm -hmm. um, he's shown up just to be there. Yeah. And I think Samoa Joe has shown up in some indie promotions. I think so. The Hardys showed up in an indie promotion. I think the Hardys yeah, more than likely. Um, but yeah, just the more WWE just plays along with everybody, the world, the better this wrestling world's gonna be. The more interesting yeah. it's gonna be. And I think that hopefully that has a lot to do with Triple H. Yeah, I think it does. I mean, look at James Storm showed up in Impact or not in and NXT wrestled yeah. a few matches at least. I think. I think so. And then he was like, uh, well, we can't work it out right now. I'll be back later. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I think I saw something about he may be going back. He wants to. That's his goal. His oh, goal is to end up in NXT. But right now, for whatever reason, he just they weren't ready for him. Hmm. And it could just be very well that, like, hey, listen, we got this roster already, and yeah. you're just going to be another guy. And he was like, yeah. ah, fuck that. I'll go... Not like he needs it. He doesn't need NXT. He right. is a big name. He's doing well in TNA and on the indies. It's like, no, don't worry about it. I'll come back later. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably literally how the conversation went. Mm -hmm. Which is great. And uh, and just to go back into WWE, because that's pretty much what the rest of this show is going to be, because uh, tomorrow is the 25th anniversary. And they've announced a list of dudes that are going to be there, and, and women. Oh, um, yeah, I saw this. Uh, I guess uh, Kevin Nash will not be there because he tore his quad on the way there. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and Coco Beware wasn't asked to be there. He made, made sure everyone knew. Which, I don't know if Coco Beware is necessarily relevant nowadays. Dicks. <laughs> like, I missed a bird. Yeah? Is the bird still alive? No. Bird is fucking be there. Bird is the word. That's the second week in a row I've made that fucking joke. <laughs> no, it's a fucking it was a fucking parrot, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. There's a good chance that parrot's still alive. You think you think so? Nah. Those parrots can live to be pretty old. That one been nah, that one's freaking yeah, I it's think it was, not. Yeah, it's gone. Brian, this is the fucking I feathers I have on my fucking marks. <laughs> you got Coco Beware parrot on your yeah. marks. <laughs> But uh, they've announced some pretty cool names. MVP is coming back to WWE, at least for a night. That's cool with me. And William Antonio Regal. Antonio Banks. No, MVP. Montel Vontavious Porter. Yeah, Antonio Banks. And so what, why do you know that name? Where, where was that from? Isn't that TNA? No. His name? FIP. FIP? Okay. Yeah. Sounds like his back, original name probably. Back in the 2000s. But gotcha. My name is real name. Harvey Whippleman. Why do I know that name? He was something way back in the day. Wasn't he an announcer or something? I was going to say referee. Was he, he was something like that. Uh... But it's, interesting <laughs> how, it's interesting how they're doing it. They're doing it from two arenas in New York. They're uh -huh. doing it from the Hammerstein, not Hammerstein, the Manhattan Theater. 
when they, that's where they had their first ever Raw taping for a live show. And they have the other half at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, they're doing it two different oh, that's cool. on the same night. Where was the first area? The Manhattan Center. Okay. That's that was that's when they had the first ever Raw. At, man, it's a little theater in Manhattan. It is Harvey Whippleman is a manager. Yeah. Oh wow, he wrestled and managed a lot of people. Cactus Jack. Eli the Eliminator, Giant Gonzalez, Kamala, Adam Bomb. He's a, a skinny, skinny dude with the glasses. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. I, I remember him from the, uh, the Giant. Gotcha. And Kabbalah. Kabbalah, he, he, he made, him and Kabbalah was like known all over the place. Okay. Because he had the safari looking look and Kabbalah was like, the, you know, hey, let's pick him up and make him. Um, oh, okay. That's, that's him. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we're also going to get Hall of Famer Howard Finkel, <laughs> Lillian Garcia, Jonathan Coachman, Fuck Mark you. Henry. I'm your dad's going to be there. Of course he's going to be there. He got to get that money. <laughs> he owe me. Well, maybe your dad can get us in there. That'd be awesome. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Uh, Chris, <laughs> okay, Christian, which is cool. This doesn't fucking count, WWE. The Hardys. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they have to be there. Well, one of them. Well, is Jeff still hurt? Yeah. Okay. He's still be on the show, though. Yeah. Uh, Trish Stratus, hell yeah. Chris Jericho. He's been there, though. Yeah, I know, but that's still exciting because after New Japan. Oh, that's a good point. That's pretty cool. Oh, by the way, I saw someone did a custom figure, Kenny Omega's entrance gear. Oh, that's rad. Last time I the saw The Destiny it, stuff? Yeah, it was up on eBay. It was over Did you know they fucked up his entrance? No, I didn't. I, I forgot to read the article, but I guess New Japan fucked up his entrance. Uh, I didn't. I don't remember noticing that. So we may not have. Yeah. Um, still badass though. Yeah. The Brooklyn Brawler, Jackie Moore. Of course, the Brooklyn Brawler gonna be there. It's in New York. Terry Runnels, Tori Wilson, Maria. <gasps> Hold Marie. on, what? Terry Runnels and Tori Wilson. Oh, Terry Runnels. Let me tell you something. When she used to come out there and her nipples were so hard and stuff. Michelle McCool, that... Kelly Kelly, Damn. <laughs> <Jean> Oakland, <laughs> Eric Bischoff. Teddy Long, the Godfather. Maybe he'll bring his hose. No, he ran out. Oh. <laughs> he might bring some from a strip club he went to Las Vegas. Brother Love, the Boogeyman. Brother Love still alive? Yes, Bruce Richard. I didn't know he was still alive. Yeah. Uh, Sergeant Slaughter. John Laurinaitis is not, should not be on this list. What? Eh. Besides, you know what he did? He, been, he wrestled for them a long time ago. Yeah. But I don't know. He's a good dude. He's all right. People power. Yeah I, yeah, I will say he did a great job as a heel that I fucking he, legitimately hated. Did you call him a good brother? No. I don't know. I'm talking shit now. Uh, X-Pac. Ted DiBiase. Uh, X-Pac, baby. I've never heard of this guy before. Free Agent John Cena? No. Oh. I'm not familiar with his work. Free Agent John Cena. Is that him going back to his rapping days? <laughs> No, With why the is gold that on channel, here? Smacking Stephanie's bootay. Brock Lesnar, The Undertaker, Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler. I think they're also going to be on the pre show. I got that up here. Scott Hall, Ric Flair, The Bella Twins, uh, JBL, and WWE Hall of Famer Ron Simmons. You should have said The Acolytes. I love Ron. Ron Simmons <laughs> is my role model. Oh, yeah, Ron Simmons is the man. I love him. Florida State, baby. The Dudley Boys, WWE Hall of Famer Steve Austin. God. That's exciting. I cannot wait for that. And Shawn Michaels, Triple H, and the New Age Outlaws. So, are they going? The old school is going to be at the Manhattan Center, and everybody else going to be in the other one. You're telling me about this. I didn't know about. I, that. I don't know how they're going. I, I know they're going to do that, but I don't know how. Yeah, they're probably going to uh, mix it up. And uh, yeah, Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler will be on the special. Oh, for fuck's sake! One hour raw free show. <laughs> so four hours of that shit. 18 hours. <laughs> WWE Raw. Jeez. So the pre show is on at 7. And we, yeah, what time is Raw over now? 11? 11. So it's going to be 7 to 11. a.m. It, it's going to be that way one day. I'm a master of misinformation. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, apparently people watch it. Yeah, but people ain't got no damn lives or jobs. <laughs> That's fair. I gotta go to work. When it was two hours, everybody watched it. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> everybody watch, That's where everybody watched SmackDown. And I was gonna say, I wish it was an hour like NXT, but we don't fucking watch that either. <laughs> uh, soon we will get back to that. But for now, we just read the news and uh, give our opinion on shit, because for some reason that matters. Uh, just like we're gonna give our opinion on Roman Reigns being named as an alleged client of a jailed steroid distributor. Oh boy, that's fucking crazy. Roman Reigns was on steroids? What? Yeah, mind-blowing. I know. He's a moan. He's natural. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it is Richard Rodriguez, who uh, owned a company called Wellness Fitness Nutrition LLC that was raided by the Drug Enforcement Agency last February, and now he's given out names of uh, his clients, including Jason Giambi, Marion Jones, Bill Jason Giambi, Giambi, okay, old oh, baseball player, Bill Romanowski, Barry Bonds, and Roman Reigns is one of them, including Hollywood stars Josh D- Dahamel and Mark Wahlberg. I knew Mark Wahlberg was taking something to get that big. Mm-hmm. For go from skinny to huge like that, just for a movie, come on, man. Yeah, but that and that's his choice. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. But, uh, yeah, Roman Reigns is not supposed to be on steroids in WWE. So, what, are you going to slap him on the wrist and tell him to come back? I mean, what do you think? What should happen? Well, what happened in the past with steroid users in WWE? Uh, I think they... They got suspended. They went yeah. to the, the, the health, what we call wellness program. Yeah. So, they was gone for a while. So, he needed to start from the bottom and work his way back up. Just like, where just, should be. just like the curtain call with Triple H, you know. Yeah. Triple H, he, and he, he was in the story, but he was about to win the King of the Ring. But he did that, and he got he got started from the bottom now here. That's that's why Stone Cold the way Stone Cold is now, because of Triple H stupidity. And Roman Reigns has issued a statement saying he's never heard of Richard Rodriguez or Wellness Fitness Nutrition. I learned from the mistake I made nearly two years ago and paid the penalty for it. Since then, I've passed 11 tests as part of WWE's independent drug testing program. This is still my yard. <laughs> he said to the news people. <laughs> but, uh... I, you know what? I saw something about that, but I, I think I was at work. And I ain't thinking that about it. I thought it was somebody just trying to make stories up, so clip and shit like that, you know? No, he really... This guy but, named Roman, and I guess now... I mean, they have to investigate him, right? Yeah, yeah. That's why he's been missing. Well, this just happened this week. I, I, I really haven't been seeing him. Is he still sick with the mumps? <laughs> I don't know what he got, but, you know, I ain't been seeing him. Yeah, I'm I mean, not I've sure. I've been watching a little bit, but, you know, I ain't been seeing him around. You know, I, he definitely going to go miss Sunday. Ain't yeah. no way in hell he can compete Sunday, so we ain't got to worry about who's going to be 30. Well, no, I mean, he still can. No, he can't. Yeah. If, if your name is on a list like that, you, no. No. You don't think we'll see him at the Rumble? No. No. You should, you done. No. You are done until that investigation. He's going to be done until the 30th participant comes out. Oh, God. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. No, nah, but don't. seriously, he ain't dang going to let him get near a ring until that shit clear Down up. until 29 is pen. Oh, Damn. So, there's one last thing I want to bring up to you guys. I saw this in an article the other day. What do you think about Neville coming back and winning the Royal Rumble? Is that even possible? Because I say he deserves it and he can pull it off. I like Neville. The King of the Cruiserweights gimmick has been incredible for him. Yeah, like, if he came back and just, like, yeah, I just continued that one. Yeah. Like, I, I did really enjoy that. I didn't like him down there. What, as King of the Cruiserweights? Yeah, I ain't like it. Dude, for a dude that is very shy and doesn't like talking, his promos are incredible. Because when he before they did the Cruiserweight, he was kicking ass up, you know, up there. Now he get on the Cruiserweights, like... Well, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. He could win the Royal Rumble and be the number one contender. And then it would be him versus AJ Styles? At WrestleMania? Or it could be him versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, AJ's winning that match. We know that's happening. Okay. Unless WWE is 
smoking the good stuff. Which yeah, is very unlikely. If that happens, I ain't got no problem with it. I, I like them. As much as I want Kevin and Sammy to be co-champions, because we talked about mm-hmm. that a couple weeks ago, that'd be entertaining as fuck. Not happening. I don't well, think it's going to happen. But, uh, yeah, Neville versus AJ Styles or Neville versus Brock Lesnar. No, that ain't fair. That would be badass. That ain't fair, though. Neville would pull it off. I guarantee it. What do you think, Brian? Uh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> what are you doing over there? <laughs> Taking the pills or get fucked. <laughs> Jeez. Doing who and what? Never mind. And, uh, you can follow me. You see what I'm doing right now. We'll talk about Instagram that in a minute. <laughs> at BrianMan on 38. Oh, we're not on that yet? I'm no, sorry. we're not. But Neville wins the Royal Rumble because he's the shit. All right, yeah. Who do you guys honestly think is going to win the Royal Rumble? Roman Reigns when he comes in number 30. Okay. That's I, I want to say, say you're full of shit, but... You watch it, but you don't, right? <laughs> if that happens, I swear I'll, I'll, I'll walk home. <laughs> I'll walk all the way up here from home. I don't care if that happens. If that happens, I'll never talk about wrestling again. I, I really want to see somebody like a Shinsuke Nakamura win it. They already gave us him already coming out when he was in Philadelphia. When the Royal Rumble was at Philadelphia, that happened with Roman Reigns. What do you mean? Because The Rock came out to help him. Yeah. Nobody wants to see that shit again. No, no, okay, yeah. Wasn't that, the, that was the last one, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. That was when The Rock came out and yeah. raised his hand. Wasn't that the last Rumble? No, the last no? Rumble was in Orlando. Who won that? Triple H. Because <laughs> that's what that was AJ Styles' debut. Equally as fucking. Oh my god. Yeah, can we, like, listen. Okay, so it was Triple H. Because he was feuding with Roman Reigns. Uh, let's look this up. Royal Rumble winners. Roman Reigns won, then Triple H won it. Now it's this year. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. It was at San Antonio last year, wasn't it? Well, yeah, it was at San Antonio right? last year because they had everybody coming down in the golf carts. Because it was oh. an Alamo Dome. Orlando was a year before that. Or a year after that. I'm sorry. I, I forgot who won it last year. Let's see if I can find it. Event. Yeah, Triple H won it when it was in Orlando. But last year it was in San Antonio. I can't remember who won it last year. Oh, Jesus. Ro- uh, Randy Orton. Oh, yeah, that's right. All right, so let's look at Randy Orton last year. Triple H before that. Roman Reigns before that. Batista before that. John Cena before that, Sheamus before that, Del Rio before that, and here's the most interesting person that's won the Rumble lately is Edge. Can we get someone different? Can we push somebody with the fucking Royal Rumble? The Mojo Rally. That's a thing that's been thrown around. Oh. That is a thing. Mojo Rally, Baron Corbin, I don't think either one of those guys are ready for WrestleMania main event. No. But somebody like Shinsuke Nakamura winning and then us getting Nakamura versus AJ at WrestleMania, that would be great. They ain't gonna make that happen. I hope it happens. They have to go to New Japan and wrestle. <laughs> yeah? Oh, man. It's gonna be interesting. That's this Sunday, right? I don't think so. I think it's next Sunday. Uh, I have it right here. Uh, no, I don't. Oh, January 28th. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's next week. Yeah. So get ready to get pissed off next weekend. It should be fun. Honestly, though, they could, they could use it to push somebody like Nakamura, or Kevin Owens, or Sami Zayn. I think you know it's just like with the women. So everybody think you know uh, what's her name? Ronda Rousey is supposedly going to be in it. Oh god. Which I don't know. See, it, now, now, now I'm not even interested in it no more. No. No. They're saying that that's the reason why they made this Women's Royal Rumble is to introduce Ronda Rousey. And that's not right. I don't believe it. No? no. Just they did the women's, the, the first ever Women's Royal Rumble because of Ronda Rousey. Supposedly. Yeah, I ain't watching We'll that. see. That's stupid. We are watching it. <laughs> well, I know that, but I'm going to go to the bathroom in that part. I might take a bath in your bathroom, bro. All right, that's fine. You got to support the women. I do support women. There's 29 other women in that match. And, you and I support. support them, but I'm not going to support if they just did something like that just because of one girl. Yeah. That they, they never, he never stepped in the WWE ring before, and they doing something like that for her. They they cater into the wrong people. Well, yeah, they're trying to get new people in from the MMA world. And it's not work. It's not going to work. This ain't old school when they had Ken Shamrock, Steve Blackman, and the other, what's the, Dan DeBee Sever. 
That worked. That worked perfectly. These cats nowadays say MMA don't fit in what WWE do. It's, right. just, it's just not going to work. Brock Lesnar is the last one to do it. Yeah. The last one to do it. Other than that, it's not, it's not going to work. So they need to stop. They need to get their wrestlers that's on these indie circuits that's busting their ass and then they'll come and do something. Not these fucking people that's famous already. What if Candice LeRae wins it? Hell yeah. I know it's not going to happen. <laughs> Sarah I, Logan wins it. I, she's on the main roster. Damn right she is. But that's, See, uh, again, that's what they need to do. They need to let Sarah Logan or Ruby Riot or somebody like that win it. I think you mean just Sarah Logan. Just Sarah Logan. Fair enough. They they gonna they, they gonna war they, they gonna debut. they gonna mess up freaking that woman's World Rumble. I guarantee. Doing the War Machine thing. Is that the War Machine yeah. thing? Yeah. Is that the Hulk Hogan thing? No, no, not even. What if Hulk Hogan come out when the World Rumble? Uh, <laughs> I quit. Roman, please come back. <laughs> nah, hell, no, I rather. I don't know. We have to Hulk, wait and see. Hulk Hogan versus Brock Lesnar WrestleMania. Yeah, <sighs> the death of Hulk Hogan. Again. That's the Undertaker match all over again. Alright, well, we're going to wrap this up, guys. I'm standing up again, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Future Heels podcast. Just so you know, if you enjoy this podcast, and we hope you do because you listen to it every week, uh, please support us at Patreon because we have one now. Patreon.com slash Future Villains. We also have a Teespring that Brian hates, but I think it's funny. I get it. <laughs> it's a t-shirt you buy to support us. And if you get it, buy it. If you don't, buy it. Either way. Support this podcast with the crappy t-shirt. Give us your money. Give us your money. That way we can do stuff. Yes. That way we can upgrade our audio equipment, upgrade our video equipment so we can do more vlogs, so we can do more interviews. We can do. We can go to indie shows. We can, we can record video. stuff. Yeah, we can add just video to the podcast so we can build a we set. Can, we can do more segments on our, our podcast too. What you've been talking about. So help us out. We can help you out with more material. And so we can build a set and basically just take over Brian's garage. And you, you'll, you'll also be giving us more time to come up with better yeah, material. Absolutely. So if you think we're mildly interesting. Even mildly. Help us. Help us. Help you. Help us. Help Even if you. we're mild salsa. I'm sorry. Give us. Mild salsa. No, I, okay, I'm Brian. Brian and Peacock. Uh, Brian and Eleven. He's leaving. On Instagram, Brian25 on Twitter. I'm out. He's, get, I'm, he's, shit about mom. he's going he's going to he's going to Bye bed. Alright. Good night, Brian. All right, well. I am Jerry Brooks. You can find me at jbrooks42 at Twitter. jbrooks42 at too. Instagram. I'm gone. Alright, All right. bye Brooks. I gotta take you home. Brooks, come back. I gotta take you home. Alright, well I'm Jacob Best of the Realm Hotter. You can find me on Twitter. At Best of the Realm, Facebook, Best of the Realm Gaming. Shut up, Brian. You're ruining the joke. Instagram, Best of the Realm. You can find this content on iTunes, on YouTube, and you can find it on our website, futurevillains.com. F E W T R U E V I L L A I N S.com. I didn't do that in the other show. Thank you for listening, guys. Let's stop.